just you seeing under- somebody every day doesn't make for stalking. Right, but you, you have a bit of a, a of an issue. Didn't they, you go to jail for shooting this person? Yes, I did. Okay. This person wants nothing to do with being around you. They don't want to get shot again. No, that's the issue. That's the issue. If you if you already shot somebody and they continue to come around you, it, it's a mental issue. You know. No cops have set up any stings on anybody involved. In this. There's none. No, there's not. This isn't television. I because then when there be records of this, when there is nothing. There's no record. The only thing that has gone on is you've gone to jail for shooting this person. So you're at the wrong place. I want a warrant. There is no warrant to put out. There's no crime to do a warrant for. Just because you see someone over the course of a day doesn't mean they're stalking you. You got on the body camera too? Yeah. Okay. What what recently has occurred? What's recently occurred? She continuously, seven days a week, stop, still stalking me, still following me around, still having um, the little gang members hide in the attic. And I have to, have to call. You guys don't have ladders, y'all can't go in the attic. I mean, the attic of your house? Yeah. Single story house? Yeah. 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 The little crawl space that they have. How do you know when there are people in that? Because you can hear them. You can hear them. And why don't you call police whenever they're in that? I do that. Yeah, you guys come out. You guys don't have a ladder to get up in. Are you Chantel? Let's go out here, that way we're away from everyone else. What can I help you with today? Okay, I've been um, trying to get an aggravated warrant served. Um, Sergeant, um, what's up, buddy? How are you? For aggravated stalking. Okay. Um, I understand the procedures that the officers are subject to. Um, this taking civil action. I just, I just see that this issue, this issue started in 2012 and has escalated all the way up to 2018. Okay. All right. There hasn't been any resolution for my justice. All right. For, for justice for me. And I really do feel and like what do you think that resolution should be? That resolution should be is that that person should be arrested for aggra- aggravated uh, aggravated stalking. Why? For aggravated stalk aggravated stalking. And how is that happening? Um, by them actually following me around every day and um, having just you seeing attic. somebody every day doesn't make for stalking. Right, but you, you have a bit have... of a, a of an issue. Didn't they, you go to jail for shooting this person? Yes, I did. Okay. This person wants nothing to do with being around you. They don't that, want to get shot again. No, that's the issue. That's the issue. If you if you already shot somebody and they continue to come around you, it, it's a mental issue, and that and it needs to be addressed. And I keep getting the push around of this girl don't need. I mean, you know, and, and they understand how you see things, but the reason I requested supervisor because I wanted somebody to think outside the box. That's normal. What you're thinking and what they told me, they were right. Looking at it in a normal aspect. This isn't right. a norm. This isn't an outside the box situation. It is. Right? There's laws that we have to follow, and there's what? procedures with which we have to do. You happen to be seeing somebody over the course of a day is not stalking. It's not. No. And if you feel that you need an injunction against this person, the way you do that is to go to the courthouse. And a judge will tell you whether you have enough for that or not. I've been through that, Majors. I've had um, injunctions against her. Okay. Against her. And do you have an injunction is, against her or not? Currently? Yes. No. And why is that? That's because the, the bond, my bond restriction is for me to stay away from her. Okay. So I guess that's reversal. That's that's how I look at it. I don't know if that's what it is, but 
That has nothing to do with you going to the courthouse and applying for an injunction. And, right, and I don't, I don't know her address, and I don't know where she lives. And that's the first thing they're going to say, well, you, you got to know where we got to serve the papers, you know. I don't have that information. I don't know it doesn't sound like you have the information for any kind of stalking either. Then I have the information. The cops have the information. They know. They know. They set up things every day. They know all this information, and they're refusing to do what okay. they, you know. No cops have set up any stings on anybody involved in this. There's none? No, there's not. This isn't television. If you have an issue with this person, you need to call the police at the time of that issue. And not let this drag out for six years. I've been doing it. That's why they... Obviously, been... you have not. I have Because been. then when there be records of this, when there is nothing. There's no record? The only thing that has gone on is you've gone to jail for shooting this person. There's no record of, of me calling There's no reports about this. That? There's no reports that we know of about this. You've looked? What's my name? That's what the other officer was looking at before. There's no crime the today. The officer that I just spoke to? Yes. They didn't even ask me my name. They didn't even ask. They don't even know my name. Yes, because your name's on the call when we get it. All right. What, There's what? nothing else for us to do. He's done everything that he can do for you today, okay. and that's give you the pamphlet to direct you to the courthouse. Okay. We can't do anything else for you. Okay. Nothing else. Okay. Well, how about providing me a statement of that I've been here and I requested? He gave you that. That incident number is that you were here today. Yeah, the disposition. Though. That is the disposition. No That's other. it. There's All nothing right. else. Can I just have your name, your information, and uh, your stuff yep. too? And you're going to make documentation too? No, right? I'm not. No? There's no documentation to be made here. I mean, you're going to say that. There is no, did, there's nothing. It? You just dated a badge number? Badge numbers on there? I mean, y'all don't give resolution, um, which is issues so with the resolution you gave somebody. No, I don't. I have no idea what you're talking about. And Your strange. resolution would come from the courthouse because you're looking to get an injunction. So and you're no, at I the don't wrong want place. An I want a warrant. There is no warrant to put out. There's no crime to do a warrant for. Just because you see someone over the course of a day doesn't mean they're stalking you. You got on the body camera too. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. Three, three or four years ago. It was four years when I wrote the letter. So I gave you days to actually start the process of I was supposed to mostly say it's to have an aggravated warrant issue. Who is this person you want? It's nobody, no relation at all, just a stalker. That's a how it is. Um, it all began, it all began, um, we stayed in a hotel, the same hotel, um, kids and kids came. At the time, I did not know she was a gang lord, had no clue. Come to find out, she's a gang lord, okay? That, um, a lot of incidents that you all have been hearing and chasing around here is because of her. Um, and I've been fighting the issue for like six years now, and I just, I'm, I'm sitting here now with a felony charge on me, and this chick stole up to the day, to yesterday. Yesterday. To yesterday, I saw her yesterday. I saw her at the lake when I was at the lake, and then when I got back to my house, I saw her yesterday. Like on your property? No, not on the property, and she shouldn't even be near my area. I will. I'm sorry, she smuggled her sand. She just avoided me. She just drove the car by, like, to show me, like, okay, I'm sorry, because I've been praying for the police officer. I'm to have her stay away from me, because... Have you gone to the courthouse and got filed an injunction? I had, yes. So you have an injunction against her? Oh. Currently, actually, since I've been arrested, I'm not supposed to approach her. <laughs> right. Right. Reverse in a crazy way. Right? Did you try to get an injunction against her? After the incident? Well, I mean, if she's showing up and you're seeing her and you think she's following you, I mean, you go to the courthouse, you write a statement, and you go give your case to a judge, and the judge decides if he can grant you a temporary injunction or not based on the circumstances. Right. Not after I'm, I'm arrested and the judge, and I'm on bond, 
and the judge said, I don't go near her. Right. So the, she has an injunction against you. I think so. That's what that is, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's like a, a restraining order. That's yeah. common, commonly called a restraining order. And that happened at my barn yard. When was this? This was um, May 18th, 2016. Two years ago. Two years ago today. Okay, so what what recently has occurred? What's recently occurred? She continuously, seven days a week, stopped, still stalking me, still following me around, still having um, the little gang members hide in the attic in the house. I have to call. You guys don't have ladders. Y'all can't go in the attic. I mean, the attic of your house? Yeah. A single story house? Yeah. 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 The low crawl space that they have. How do you know when there's people in there? Because you can hear them. You can hear them. Why don't you call police whenever they're in there? I do that. Yeah, you guys come out. You guys don't have a ladder to get up in. Where do you live? On Carter Street. I think y'all always live me on a different radio station, but um, I live on Carter, um, like in the 400. Four hundred block. What's your address? That's my address. What's your cross street? Um, What's the nearest cross street? Willie Mays. Willie Mays. That's Willie county. Mays. No, that's not county. That's that's, that's city. Yeah, that's yeah. That's because when I call OPD house. What's your address? Is this woman. She ever shown up to your house? And she showed recently? up recently. Recently, she has not. When was the last time she been here? Um, the last time I seen her has been at, at on the property. It's yes, been on your property. Couple of months. And why is she there? Um, Ten ninety three. Fox Shot two three service request. Can you check the address of street to see if it's city or county, please? Thank you. My cell phone has been sent. She sent my cell phone and all my information. You can send me. You, what you do, y'all don't know about that? You could sink, I could sink your cell phone. You can, yes, I, yes I can. I promise you you can't. I promise you I can't. What, and I can get your text messages, I can be able to hear your phone calls, um, especially if you got an iPhone. I don't. Um, any smartphone. You can, um, you can stand in the area, like you can be, like at, at night when you're in your house. Okay, okay. I can stay outside and be keep your phone from a certain distance, like I can, yeah, see, I have Bluetooth up and it's open. We can connect it up. I don't think we can. I can remotely connect your phone. Yes, I can. Press me. I know how smartphones work. They used to work with. Um, so here, we'll give you information. You can go to a courthouse. You can go to the courthouse and uh, try and get an injunction against the individual. Um, that's that's, that's going to be your best option. Because there's nothing the police are going to be able to do for you. If she's on public property and stuff like that, if she's not approaching and stuff like that, that's not a legal thing. So, she can drive around all day long on public property. If you want to make an appointment, the phone number's in there. It's, you know where the courthouse is over here in Orange Avenue? Yeah, yeah that's all the information you're going to need is on that page. But, but I, I've done it. This girl has a voice, a restraining order. She, I, I got to the point that I stopped going. Well, she's got a restraining order against you. That's a court thing you got to deal with. We can't handle Okay, that. and I'm not approaching her. That's fine. That's, that's not fine. The issue. You said the issue is she's stopping you. If it's on public, in public, so you think she's coming around you, getting an injunction will prevent her from being able to get Because then if she comes, if she violates that injunction and she's within the area, then we can actually do something. Yes, Until hard. then, nothing can be done. You have to have that. If you, if, That's what they've been telling me to fix you. Yeah, but she's not making. Yeah. If but, you go out there right now and walk down the sidewalk and she drives by, but she doesn't say anything, she hasn't committed a crime. Unless she has an injunction and she has no reason to drive maybe, maybe. But without that, there's nothing that she's done wrong. She's not communicating with you, she's not stopping you, she's not on your property. So there's no statute there for, at all for a crime. Okay? Now, if you get an injunction, that protects you a lot more from stuff, her being able to be in your name. But if you, but that, what I don't understand is that this issue is not like 
It's not an issue that OPD is not aware of. You see what I'm saying? It's not like OPD don't have to have a stain. Y'all have a stain in my, my house every day. You see what I'm saying? It's not whereas this is a simple drive-by issue. It's issues where they have to catch people that's trying to kill me. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's not a uh, issue where civil action or and it's an issue where um, they're going around running people over and stuff. It, it's a bigger issue than just a civil suit driving by and that's why it needs to be looked at a little further and it's been going on too long. It's not a simple civil issue. I, I understand, but what, based on what you've told us, what you're explaining, we're, we're, we're telling, we're giving you the resources yeah. to go and petition for an injunction at the courthouse and that's going to be yeah. that, that's going to be your only option yeah. i mean we can't just go out and arrest her because she's such a dragon body we can't do that, that and, that'd be and, breaking the law for us and if i'm saying okay i understand what you're saying but there should be an investigation well we only investigate crimes and my crime is my the crime is i'm saying that she's aggravating something she's not she's not creating that, that statute at all Based what Do you have text messages or phone calls from her to your phone? So, they already have it. OPD yeah, already has it. I just asked you all that. You said she, the only thing is she hacked your Facebook and then that's it. Oh, well. And then seems your phone, but she, that is. That. So we're, try, we're, we're trying to establish oh, yeah. some, you know, a have. pattern. Okay, so you've already done a report on this, is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you're really just trying to follow up on a previous report or? Or are you just curious as to why nothing's been done well, from the previous report? Well, yeah. Well, I could. I. I mean, I don't know. I don't know who who took the previous report or what detective looked into it. But I can. I can tell you based on what you're explaining to me, if nothing's been done, it's because there's no crimes that are being committed. So the only way that a crime would be committed is if you have an injunction against her and she violates that injunction, then that becomes an arrestable offense. Okay, can you um, give me something in writing just that I've been here and I requested? Like a case number? Um, case number. Sure. Badge number. Date. Yep. And. Box tattoo for you to get the name in. Um, case number. And with a full report, and that, the one with the report, not just the incident. Okay, we're not doing it. We're not doing a written report on this. I have. Well, That's what I'm explaining to you. You haven't given us anything to do a report. You've given us well, shit well, well, I, I do, but well, then I want. I just want something in writing on letterhead. There's, there's of the that you came here. Yeah, that I came here. Everything's locked in the computers. And our squad cars and everything. All of that. When we get called, there's an incident number automatically assigned. How long does it take the incident number to come up? As soon as you call it in. It What's your ID? What? Three three two four five. Nicole, as soon as you sorry. call a minute, you call. No. Mm. A number is generated, and it, the details you gave are in why you're here. Yeah, I got a whole lot of that, but it doesn't it doesn't give the resolution that you guys give. I have because I you know been calling the cops and I came and got all of the report. Um, from the you know record, mm -hmm. and it doesn't generate exactly what your resolution was to me. And what I want is your guys' written resolution. 